what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right y'all know i was gonna do a video about this man you know about floyd mayweather basically checking triple g and his whole fucking team you know and i'm gonna tell you something i think this got a lot to do with abel sanchez opening his big mouth saying that floyd is using triple g's name to promote itself when actually it's the other way around clearly been the other way around so you know you know this is why uh triple g need to tell abel sanchez and tom loffler to shut the fuck up because now that floyd then put triple g on the spot see now he has no choice but to fight andre ward if he wants to fight with with uh floyd mayweather but we all know he ain't gonna go near andre ward because he didn't have every excuse in the book why he can't fight andre ward They've been ducking Andre Ward. They don't want to fight. We all know Andre Ward will dust Triple G. He will humiliate Triple G. He will make Triple G look like an amateur. We know that. So basically, Floyd is doing two things at one time. He's passing the torch secretly to Andre Ward and helping secretly promote Andre Ward. And then... He's exposing Triple G as a pussy, which is genius of Floyd. But y'all, you know, always saying Floyd can't read and he's stupid and all that type of shit. Well, he ain't too fucking stupid because Floyd knows how this works. And I'm laughing at it. So now what you Triple G fans got to say? Because y'all make every excuse in the book why uh, Andre Ward can't fight Triple G. Y'all then went from Andre Ward is too big for Triple G. Or he's been inactive. He doesn't have any drawing power. He, you know, he hasn't done anything as of late and all that type of shit. Uh, and he's fought uh, a couple of bombs when Triple G is the bomb squad leader. Not not bomb, bum, bum, B-U-M. You know, Uber driver specialist, cab driver specialist, mediocre fighter specialist, dudes that he know is afraid of him specialist. Triple G ain't never took a challenge in his life. 34 years old, don't have one meaningful, legendary fight under his belt. Hasn't fought one Hall of Fame fighter at age 34, where Floyd has fought at least five Hall of Fame fighters by the age of 34, if I'm not mistaken, or future Hall of Fame fighters. Yeah. See, I'm coming with the facts. And it's like what John Boxer said. The day Triple G retires, if he doesn't take a meaningful fight, he will be an afterthought. Because he won't be known as a legend. Because as soon as you bring up that dude's name, people are going to say, well, he didn't really fight nobody. And he went out off the fact that certain fighters wouldn't fight him. But then he didn't go fight dudes that called him out. So... That's what Triple G's legacy is going to be tied to. So like I said, I don't want to hear no fucking excuses. Now, I know some of y'all going to make videos saying, oh, this Floyd's being a pussy. And no, he's not being a pussy. He telling this so-called monster that y'all are saying is an unstoppable freight train that nobody can, can knock off the tracks. You know, he's saying prove it. Prove you the one. You know, earn, earn that undeservedly shot, you know, title uh, top five pound per pound in the world that you don't fucking deserve. Earn it the right way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm glad Floyd did this to Triple G. Because I'm laughing at Triple G, Tom Loeffler, Abel Sanchez <laughs> all at once. This is great. I'm 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 loving this. So. Here's your opportunity, Triple G. Go beat Dominic Wade. You know, you can set up, you fight in April. You fight in April. Okay. You can set you can set up a fight. Let's see. You can set up a fight with Andre Ward either late July or early August. You know, at possibly one 170, because Andre Ward is the A side now. And if I was Andre Ward. I'd make you guys come up to 168, 170 at best. You know, fight Andre Ward. Then if you beat 
beat Andre Ward, then possibly you get Floyd at the end of the year. And if I if I was Andre Ward, hey, you go down to 170, beat Triple G's ass, and then, you know, you can have that showdown with Sergey Kobolov possibly late November, early December. So it works in both of these guys' favor. So, yeah, let's make the fight happen. Triple D, G, the ball is in your court. Prove you a real one. You know what I'm saying? No excuses. No excuses. I'm out.